Around March 2020, there were increasing reports in the news about coronavirus and how it was affecting more and more people. The consequences of us not moving quickly in that situation is that people who desperately need help wouldn't have it and may not know where else to go. My strategic lead is a forward thinker, an empowering manager. When we came up with ideas about what we want to do to ensure that the service continues to run, he was able to speak to people higher up in the trust to communicate the vision that we had for the service. His trust for us as the team really did translate and then therefore we were trusted to do what we thought was appropriate. We were one of the only services in London that did not have any break at all in our offer. Hi, how are you all? Hi. Hi. Others are going to be joining. One of the things that we wanted to talk about today was to focus on the social media outreach that we're doing. Things are going really well at the moment and people are coming through to the service from those platforms, which is great. The strength of our strategic lead is that he was able to support us. He really showed great leadership at that time, and I think an important part of leadership is that it's not just do what I say, do what I think. It's also about how can I pull out the best skills that you have? And where that was a real strength is that it helped to empower staff to feel that they had something to give in an environment where it feels like the world is out of control. I would say as a manager that 40% of the role is focused on the practicalities. The rest of it is really about helping people to work together in a situation where they may not have come together in any other walk of life and helping them to move together as one. I think when we're so busy, we can lose sight of how much we've actually done. You know, all of the feedback that we've had, it just shows. I'm really very proud of the service as a whole in terms of the our achievements so far, especially during these difficult times. So I'm very proud. If somebody needed to be helped down from a building, the worst thing that you could do is get on a wobbly ladder to help them. You need to have a good foundation first. If you know that your employer, your lead, your manager and the other seniors are there to support you, staff feel that they have the scaffolding they need to get on with the difficult um, job that they have. I feel respected. I feel heard, I feel pleased to be where I am, and I'm confident that I will not be treated in a way that is unethical. That relationship between us and him is a really important part of why we have done so well during this time. <laughs>